welcome to welcome back to my channel top five Wednesday is a group on Goodreads where every Wednesday they come up with a topic of a list of five books or five bookish things to talk about and people talk about it on their blogs or on their YouTube channels I've never participated before this is gonna be my first top five Wednesday post and the reason that I'm starting this week is because I really like the the topic and it is five books to get you out of a reading slump now I'm not in a reading slump I can't afford to be in a reading slump this year my reading goal is to read hundred and two books in a year which means that I have to be reading at least nine books every month pretty much my average has to be about nine books I can't afford to slack on that because that means at least two books every week some weeks more this topic is something that's really interesting to me because if I need to read a certain number of books and I'm not really feeling like reading books and I have to find books that I could read. So these five books are the five books that I would use right now if I was if I was in a reading slump and wanted to find something that would kind of help me to want to read again. First book is, is Maya Angelou's autobiography, I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings. Maya Angelou wrote seven autobiographies during her life. This I think is the first of the seven and it is probably the most well known it's also the only one that I own. So if I wanted to add a book to my reading this month, this would this would be one of the books that I would choose. Another one of my favorite shorter books is Paolo Coelho's The Alchemist. This is a fictional book with a really big story about life and seeking your purpose and just going after your dreams. It is probably my favorite book of all time even now even now that I've read more books this is still probably the book that I recommend most it is the book that I talk about most in general even though I haven't talked about it too much on my YouTube channel hmm it's probably do a reread this is a book that I read a few years ago for the first time and since then I've read a couple other Quayla books which haven't really had the same kind of impact on me but it is a short book and you can tell that my copy is pretty old but I love this book read it every couple of years and if I was feeling like I needed to add something to my reading this is one of the books that I would reach for although when I reread a book I don't really add it to my total reads so I guess that wouldn't really help me but you know what I'm talking about it's a recommendation another book that I really enjoy is I was told there would be cake by Sloan Crossley this is a book that I bought at a used book sale a few years ago and kept it for a while without ever reading it it's a book of essays comedic essays Sloan Crossley is a journalist. She writes for the New York Times. She writes for the Village Voice. She's had a couple articles published in Playboy. There's no Playboy stuff in this. It is a collection of stories about being single and some of the experiences that you have living in New York as a single person. There's a really, really funny story in here about her fear that she'll go out one day and she'll die and someone from her family will have to come and claim her and like go through her belongings and the kinds of thoughts that they would have about her by going through her belongings and she talks about the things that are in her house that she wouldn't want anybody to know about like her collection of plastic dolls or like cheap throwaway dolls that every time someone would ask her someone would tell her that they have a gift for her and she'd say is it a pony and so the next time they bring her a gift they'll bring her like this cheap throwaway pony so she has this collection of cheap ponies and she wonders you know if her family had to come and clean out her apartment what would they think of her with this would they think that she has like a fetish or something so it's a really really funny book I have attempted to donate this book several times and I never have I always hold on to it and every time I pick it up I find myself rereading a couple of, at least a couple of the essays slash stories and so if I was ever in a reading slump and just wanted to push myself to read something this is one of the books that I would probably go for so maybe you'd want to check it out too another book that I just read recently is adulthood is a myth it's a Sarah Scribbles novel written by Sarah Anderson this is a comic sort of supposed to be a graphic novel but it's really a comic about the realities and the responsibilities of being an adult a person who is of a certain age but not necessarily of a certain feeling and so this book describes some of the challenges that just have to do with being this person who people call on and not really 
Not that you want to shirk your responsibilities, but not always feeling up to them all the time. I also really love the cover. This raised felt on the front is just beautiful. It is, the textured feel is just so inviting. It invites you to want to read the book and the pictures inside are stupendous. I love them. I love this book. So if I was going to recommend a short, easy read to just kind of give you a book to add to your number, I'd recommend this one. And book number five of my, one of my all time references is the Bridget Jones Diary. This is original. This is the first of I think three books that Helen Fielding wrote about this Bridget Jones character. She went on to make movies starring Renee Zellweger, which is the cover, which this cover is from the first movie. But I really, really like this book. It inspired me to write some fiction a few years ago. You probably know the story. You might have watched the movie. Maybe you read this book. But it's a book that just even though the time even though this book took place i think maybe in the 1900s what was this book published even though this book was first published in 1998 and i think the movie first i think the first movie came out in 2001 the references in here some of them are kind of out of date but the book the plight the things that bridget jones focuses on they're timeless being single losing weight wanting to quit a bad habit con being concerned about your love life those are all concerns that women have and women have had throughout time throughout life and will continue to have until the end of time so this book for me is a timeless funny fun read every time i think about doing like a readathon one of the challenges is to reread a book that you love I always want to put this book on my list. So these are the five books that I would read. These are the five books that I would reach for if I was in a reading slump. And maybe one of your favorites is in this list. Maybe you got a recommendation of something to read if you are indeed in a reading slump right now yourself. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know which one of these you like. Maybe which one of them you're going to check out sometime soon. And subscribe to my channel if you're not already so you know we can continue chatting so thanks for watching and i'll see you later happy reading